Hey, welcome to Stuck in Beta. I'm Greg, and with me is the two Joshes. We are our, our own people, Greg. Okay. What up? Josh and Josh. Hey, uh, I was going to say something right off the bat. Sorry, but I distracted you. You I'm did. Sorry. You, uh, I'm not good Where at that. Where can you find this podcast, Greg? Well, if the easiest way is to go to beer30.tv, all uh, spelled out, not with the three and a zero. But not television spelled out. Yeah, not television Just spelled TV. out. Uh, go there, you'll find basically all our links. And also every Wednesday at 5, or maybe a little later. Yeah, we're kind of later today. Yeah. That's Greg's fault. That's Central Time. Yeah. Our, oh, our, Jesus, uh, let's not get in this discussion. Of- our loyal listener is... Uh, Saying that we're late, so he's he he's, should have seen the countdown. Yeah. He knew yeah. he knows how to tell time. He said at least the music was good. <laughs> really? Right. Yeah. What are we talking about this week, boys? Uh, Anything from the weekend, Josh? Yeah. Did you injure yourself last weekend? I did not. No, I did not. Well, that uh, injured that myself. That segment. Okay. Yeah, I can't think of anything. Um, it was hot though. It was yeah. hot, man. man. The weather was beautiful. Uh, well, yeah, a little too warm. I mean, <laughs> well, for Halloween. Oh yeah, gosh. no, I completely agree. I was and there uh, were deer hunters all over the place crying. Like oh crazy yeah, because they couldn't yeah. go deer hunting. I was cutting up some fire, some firewood, or breaking up some sticks and man. stuff. Yeah. Did did it start on its own? Did you have to light? <laughs> yeah, it? I mean, I was I was uh, walking back and forth, bringing some for uh, Halloween, bringing some firewood up around the front of the house for a little fire. I was sweating like this is messed up, huh? You yeah. know, it was that hot. What was it, like, 85, 86? Yeah, it, it was had to eight, be a, yeah, mid-80s. Had easily. to be a record, right? Yeah. Yeah, we were at the lake. It was beautiful. And I got dragged or, well, something like that. I went to the Apple Butter Festival in... Uh, uh, Kimswick? Kimswick. Uh, that would be where it is. Now, Kimswick, little, Missouri. A little bit of background. Kimswick, Missouri is, like, one of the oldest settlements... It's a neat little. It's a neat little town. It's I mean, it's slightly town. younger than Saint Genevieve, but it's not much younger than Saint Genevieve. There's a bunch of little shops be- right on the river. Basically, a bunch of craft shops. Gotcha. I mean, shops. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, like uh, well, there's a good restaurant. Blue Owl's there. Yeah. Uh, Doe Depot is there. Have you ever eaten at Doe Depot? Uh, he's. I eat there all the time. Yeah, yeah. It's tradition. Yeah, we go there every year. That's good food. Uh, but so it, and yeah, I'm saying that so you can take it to the bank. Yeah, that's right. So, this thing is, well, I went there with Molly for her work, and they had a tent. They were giving away a bike, so they had a bunch of people signing up to win a bike or whatever. And uh, so I was just hanging out with them because um, she said, hey, you can... You're going to hang out with you me? Can bring, you can bring beer with you. Just pour it in a cup or whatever, and <laughs> it's, it's like a tailgate. fine. Yeah, I'm like, well, okay. But really, <laughs> it, it, you almost, your arm. it really it almost hit 90. It was ridiculous yeah. how hot it was. It was really and there, hot. So it is like a carnival of crap. That's, <laughs> that's that, pretty carnival of crap. mean. Okay, it, it's a carnival of crap. So it's, there, are, like, I, there weren't rides. You can't call it a carnival if there wasn't okay, rides. Okay. I call it a glorified, glorified flea market. Okay, yeah. That would probably be more with accurate. Carnival than I, food. With carnival food. With carnival food, I will give you <laughs> Everything that. Everything fried. Yes, yes, there is carnival food. So, I've never been there before. I've I've lived Oh, really? In, I've lived in I didn't the know that. I lived in the area for uh well, a long time. I'm not going to say my age. Everyone knows. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> You're 39. Oh, okay. <laughs> Like, this is a kid's show. Yeah. There's a bunch of 15-year-olds listening yeah. to it. Oh, my God. He's 40. I'm not listening anymore. <laughs> man, that's uncool. Don't trust the old people, man. <laughs> I'm not going to say my age. <laughs> <laughs> like, we thought he was younger. <laughs> I'm 22. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, I've never been there before. And, it. I mean, it's a bunch of tents. If you've never been there, it's a bunch of tents. And like, jo- like Josh said, which I, I can didn't say... say yeah, <laughs> I could say and be right if either one of you said it. Uh, it's all a bunch of little tents selling uh, junk. There was like it, North you Face. You cannot say junk. Okay, there's 
knockoff North Face yeah. jackets. Yeah. For oh, really? They were knockoffs? Yeah. Really? They're 25 like, bucks. These are $130 jackets. How are they $25? They're, yeah. they're not total hoos and they say like North Butt or something, are no, they? See, no, I would have no. bought. I thought that story <laughs> was great. I loved that story and I applauded that kid for what he did. <laughs> no, they weren't that. No, they weren't like that. No, it was South Butt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they yeah. they just had a lot of a lot of crafts, you know. I'm, I'm but there's not, a lot of handmade stuff. A lot of handmade stuff. And there's a, there's some, some cool is, stuff. Uh, okay, I mean a lot of it is. Uh, I took a pa- piece a pallet wood and painted a yeah, snowman right. on yeah, it. Yeah, that's yeah. something Josh could do and probably <laughs> make some good money. Yeah, I've thought about it. It's I have. it's surprising how many people uh, were carrying that stuff out. Yeah, but and, but. With that said, there are good food. There were restaurants that set up booths, um, right? The new I had from the gin. Oh, what's the name of the place? There, there's some a new gin place in Soulard. They had set up their place. They had these uh, chicken nachos. They were like a Cajun chicken nacho. Man, those were good. Um, but there, were, did you happen to see the booth or the building for the new? Um, Riverboat restaurant that is going in in Kimswick? I did not. It, uh, They bought the Old House restaurant and are redoing it, and they're also bringing up a riverboat and doing a restaurant on that. Huh. Yeah, kind of like that guy did the last time that failed. He didn't pay his taxes, and it was <laughs> taken away from him. Well, I mean, there's a lot of stuff to go. Walking through that would take a did, long time. It was very, very crowded, too. Fun fact. Did you know? Is this fun or just a you know fact? Who, I find it very interesting. Did you know? You know hey, who, what are you drinking today, by the water. way? Water. Okay. Um, Whoa. Uh, Paul Harvey. You guys know who Yeah, yeah. Was. yeah he used he, to go there. He owned property in Kimswick and would go, him and his wife, would go to Good the... Day? the app That's a great impression. <laughs> um, they would go to the Apple Butter Festival every year until really? they got so sick that, and died that they couldn't go. Sick and died. Yeah. But he owned a bunch of property up there. Yeah. Huh. Is it uh, Nadine's Gin Joint? That is correct. Wow. Ding, 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 ding. Hey, oh, uh, I do have plugs all here. these damn restaurants. We need some advertising yeah. money. Going back a little bit. Um, <laughs> That's you being correct. I'm <laughs> a little late. You were quick on that button, man. <laughs> you mentioned, uh, Josh, that uh, Kimswick was a little bit not quite as old as St. Gin. Yeah. Well, Kimswick was founded in 1859. Care to guess when St. Gin was founded? Uh, it's the oldest settlement west of the mississippi yeah yeah no idea 1735 wow Wow. yeah so before the revolution of 1776 right founded in 1735 by french canadian colonists and settlers from the east that's my both sides of my wow uh dad's both of my grandparents my dad's dad parents were from saint genevieve and were raised down really yeah yeah. So yeah, seventeen. Trivia. So you missed that. Saint Genevieve was founded in seventeen thirty-five, and Kimswick was founded in what eighteen fifty-nine. Oh, pff, not even only a hundred years. Yeah. I mean, 120, 120 years. And both really neat towns, really. Oh I yeah, mean, definitely. Uh, and they have great craft fairs: the Apple Butter <laughs> Festival and the Saint- Strawberry Festival well, no, too. Screw right? the Strawberry Festival. Oh, screw the stra- Oh, <laughs> uh, Saint Gen has the Jur de Fete every August second weekend in August. I think. Hey, one one quick thing about the Apple Butter. I do you like hardly apple saw any apple yeah, butter there. Really? Yeah. It's. Were and, they not making it underneath the big the big pavilion? I mean, they had a few places where they had apple butter but i thought it was going to be all over like oh like, try or nah. try we have pumpkin apple butter we have it would be know. pumpkin butter then well <laughs> maybe they had both you know mixed together but i didn't really see that much and i was you know i joked at once one point saying you know it used to be about the apple butter now it's all about the crafts you know <laughs> <laughs> that bet that went over like a turd <laughs> did you try the apple butter no, I did. I am not. I am not an apple butter person. No, it's not that great. Hmm. I like apple butter, but it's so, not something that I would take home with me and go, "Oh yes." So Put should it on I? Everything. Should I tell my rescue story from the? Let's weekend? hear your rescue story. So we were at the boat. We were at the lake this weekend. Beautiful weekend to be on the lake. Windier than all get out though. The there were white caps on the lake from the wind alone, which was crazy. So we get a phone call. Or Annette gets a phone call from a friend about two thirty in the afternoon, three o'clock in the afternoon saying their boat had ran out of gas. Now, their boat, I think, 
is a 35 foot or 40 foot scarab so like a cigar boat you know think of one of those boats and it had ran out of gas they had multiple engines um they needed us to come tow them to a marina to get gas i'm like oh man i don't know if my boat's going to be able to do this i've got a pontoon and we're carrying a you know 35 foot 40 foot fiberglass boat i with thought you two or three engines <laughs> yeah yeah Rescue go jump in my yeah. tugboat so we tooled on down there it's a couple miles away and uh Long story short, we we got them. We got them to the marina and and uh, helped them get gas. Yeah, that I I don't think I'll ever tow a boat again though because there really wasn't anybody on the water. There were decent waves from the wind, but that stressed me out so freaking bad. There's really? no why just because I was afraid I was going to break something on my oh. boat. You know, because when you have a heavy object like yeah. that behind you and you're pulling it with a rope, and I had it tied onto my ski bar. I mean, any number of things could have gone really, really wrong mm. with that situation. Um, there's no way in hell I could have done it on a normal Saturday afternoon. No way in hell I would have done it on a Wow. Day. It, I mean, it would have been crazy. Did all people get into your boat? To no, they the stayed load? on their boat. Really? Yeah, mm. there's no reason for them. And then, so, the really frustrating thing about it, when we, we were pulling in the cove where the marina was, they could get gas. This is a perfect season for bass tournaments down there. And... The resort that, or the marina is attached to a resort. They had a bass tournament going on with about, I think somebody said 85 boats and four o'clock was way in. We're pulling in and trying to get them on the dock to get gas at like 358. Wow. So you had all these stupid bass <laughs> boats coming in. I mean, I could have reached out and grabbed people oh, on man. the other boats. Wow. It was ridiculous. Hmm. So I had to go down and circle around and wait for all the idiots to get in and then pull over their boat. So you're not. Uh, gonna start a service start a service if i bought a different boat if i bought a tow boat with the right equipment and the right setup i could i could do it but not on my pontoon how much money you make doing that uh two hundred dollars a call wow Wow. is it common for people to run out of gas you would be surprised so okay another story we were down there i think it was a labor day weekend right after we started going down there so probably three years ago four years ago we were coming home on monday morning and I, I said, you know what? It's really nice out. Why don't we go for one last ride before we go home? So we went. It was like 7.30 in the morning. We went out for a really nice ride. We get out to the main channel, and I see this boat floating in the middle of the lake. And I'm like, well, that's weird. So I, I slowed down and pulled up next to it, and I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna, I don't see anybody on the boat from a distance. So I'm like, well, I guess I better go see if there's somebody on the boat, if they're okay closer and closer we get to it it becomes more and more apparent that there's no one on the boat or no one visible on the yeah. boat so i pull up next to the boat and i told annette annette took the wheel and i said you guys stay back here i'm gonna go on the front of the boat and look and see if there's somebody dead in the bottom of this boat oh, i mean because because <laughs> i mean that's there's nobody on the boat i couldn't see anybody i could so she we pulled up as close as we could to the boat and i still didn't see anybody i'm like well I'm going to have to get on the boat because this boat can't sit out here in the right. lake. So I jump on the boat, tell her to back up. I'm like, well, I need to look in the bathroom on the boat and see if there's somebody stuffed in the bathroom. Oh, God. So I'm like standing there reaching, trying to, you know, I open up and there's nobody in there. I'm like, well, son of a bitch, where'd this boat come from? There's keys in it. I'm like, well, I guess if I had to, I could start it and drive it back. Yeah. So I grab my cell phone and I'm like, okay, I'll call water patrol call up water patrol tell them what's going on they're like oh yeah we'll be there in a little bit i'm like no you don't understand there's no one on this boat we pulled up and it's floating free in the middle of the yeah. lake it's going to run into shore eventually right. or somebody's dock and cause damage yeah we'll get there we'll, we'll you know tell us what mile marker it's at we'll we'll get there when we get there i'm like no <laughs> that's not acceptable i i'll take it back to my dock if i have to I you said, care too much. I, yeah. <laughs> I guess. I mean, if it was my boat, I would have wanted somebody to do that for my boat. But anyway. I Maybe said, they were abducted. Well, right. <laughs> so I said, you know, how often does this happen? Because you guys really aren't, seems to me, yeah, caring yeah. too much about this. Oh, easily every day. Like, oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Easily every, every day. day. So they run out of gas. Somebody comes and picks them up so that they can go get gas. Like in a- No, that's not what happened. Oh, okay. So I'll finish the story. So I futz around, futz around, futz around. I end up calling my dad, who was at the condo, and I said, get out here, see if somebody will bring you out here and help me get figure out 
how to start this boat. So dad comes out. We're both on this boat trying to figure out why it won't start, why it won't start. We knew the battery had to be either dead or, or disconnected because we're not getting anything when we turn the ignition. Well, we're, we're standing around, and he's uh, getting ready to tow this boat. So he's, getting, he's digging for a rope. Next thing I know, there's a guy on a wave runner coming up to the boat. <laughs> and he says, how'd my boat get out here? Oh, my God. I yeah, said, what'd you do? That's a great question. I said, we pulled up on it about an hour ago, and it's, it was sitting out here in the middle of the lake. He goes, well, somebody must have got it off my dock over there. And point, I mean, we're probably, I don't know, a quarter mile from his dock. Oh, like, wow. Look, dude, we pulled up. It was out here. I'm more than happy to, you know, get off of it if you want me right. to. Right. He goes, well, you know how to drive a boat? I said, yes, I know how to drive a boat. He said, well, the battery is disconnected. Just, it's underneath there, the one place I didn't look. And turn the switch, turn the battery on, start the boat up, and I drove it back to his dock and docked it for him. Hmm. It was freaking bizarre. So he, it just came disconnected. He, he, said, he <clears throat> said what it was. It was on the lift the night before, and his kids, his adult kids, were down on the dock drinking. He figured they hit the lift and it lowered at some point through the night yeah. and then just drifted off. <laughs> Moral of the story, that's why you moor your boat even when it's on a lift. Yeah, yeah, that was stupid. Wow. So he was 15 minutes away from calling the cops saying somebody stole his boat because oh. I was about to find that switch and take it back to my dock and tell the water patrol to come get it. Yeah. Hmm. Weird. Yeah, that was crazy. Wow. Every day. They said every day there's yeah. a boat found floating wow. in the middle of the lake. Did not know that. That's crazy. And that was boat time. Yeah. Boat talk. Yeah. Anyway. What's well, next? Uh, I don't know. So um, I wanted to get your guys' take on this. Uh, so on Halloween was two, two nights ago. And I live in a subdivision, which you guys both live in a subdivision. And Greg, I know you were He lives out. in the city. He didn't live in a subdivision. No. He was out in his, at his nephew's. Yeah. Um, or seeing his nephew's. Um, future nephew's. I don't know. How do you... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> future ne- yeah, yeah, it's yeah, called yeah, nephews. Yeah, yeah. So um, my subdivision is um, one of only like three right in the uh, city limits, and the uh, it's it's hit or miss. Like some years, it's just like jam packed. Yeah, some, ours was crazy mm-hmm. this year. And other years, it's slow. Last year was really slow. I think the, I can't remember for sure, but I think the weather was bad. And we live on a cul-de-sac, so if people up like down our street aren't um don't have their lights on and people then mm-hmm. the kids don't come up the street but um this year so it was it was pretty crazy with the weather being yeah. as warm as it was yeah and i never the have 80s le- i don't know that i've ever left my house on halloween <laughs> um it sounds weird but my wife whenever the kids were little she used to take them around and i would hand out candy and as they've gotten older um they go around on their own and i i've stayed at home but this year my son had a uh, had basketball practice so I had to go um, pick him up at seven, seven o'clock, which was right at the, the you know, the height yeah, the of the peak. Yeah. yeah, the peak. So uh, some some people were coming through saying, um, "Yeah, it's gonna be hard to get out because tra- because cars are yeah, lining up and down yeah. the main the main road." So I'm driving out, and um, and people are like saying, "I overheard. I had my windows down. I'm driving really slow, and people like are not moving out of the way. It's like." It's it's like um, when you see that people are driving, trying to drive through like a herd of cattle. Right. I mean, they were just like right. slowly separating out of the way, and I'm like, not I'm barely moving like at an idle speed, and um, overheard people. Go, Why are people driving? It's Halloween, you know, just stupid remarks and stuff like that as I'm driving. And I had a place that I needed to go, so I'm driving out, <clears throat> and my subdivision backs up to the school, and the entire school parking lot was completely full of cars. Wow, and they were all in your neighborhood. Yeah, and they were all in my neighborhood. And then the the entire street coming, the main street coming down was a parking lot on on one side. And um, so I went out and I picked him, it took me forever. I picked him up, came back. And as I'm coming back, I'm again, I'm driving like, I'm riding the brakes. I'm like, the speedometer is not even registering. I'm coming down the hill as slow as I can, but I'm still, you know, trying to get through. It's kind of the same thing. And I overhear this guy go, slow down and i was like and it pissed me you're off. going like five or yeah i it pissed me off because i'm like number one you probably don't even live here right i'm i have a destination to get to you know i'm not just like joyriding through the yeah. subdivision you know and dropping my kid of off <laughs> <laughs> i don't know so but but the no thing way. is is so i got kind of if you know again like i said i've Did never flip him off no but i've never left my my house 
but I was just thinking, you know, uh, what? Part of me is like, yeah, that's cool that people come to our stuff because I know there's a lot no, of people. No, it's not. That, yeah, so I'm like, I was kind of pissed off about that. Yeah. I'm like, you know, all these people are coming and like parking because I guarantee the nice subdivision out on B Highway, yeah, had their gates down. Down? Oh yeah. Like why, oh yeah. You mean like why closed? would they? Right, yeah. right. Why would they oh, let yeah, outsiders for sure, in? For sure. Exactly. Yeah. So so that's what I was thinking. I'm like, uh, part of me was like, it's nice to be able to like kind of. Yeah, you know, have some place where like rural kids can go. Right. You know, maybe they, maybe they have a neighbor for a mile away, so they come and drop their kid off or whatever. And I did that one time, and I know you were getting to a question on when did you stop trick or treating. And I'll get to that in a second, but I was kind of like, by the time I got back home after driving through it and seeing like all the mayhem and knowing, oh, and then the dads were. This was the total Hoosier move is seeing the dads walking through. I'm kid. I kid you not. With like a twelve pack of beer. Well, yes, <laughs> <laughs> I've done that before. How else do you do it? Wow, yeah. I've never done that. I, I only think, had one I've, beer with me when I was walking. <laughs> I don't think I've ever. I don't know if I've ever taken my kids. Chicken. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, you I've have been to pull a you. cooler, oh, pull yeah. a cooler behind you. Oh, yeah, wow. the wagon. Well, was it your subdivision though? Yes. Okay, so that's the thing is I'm pretty oh, sure yeah, these guys sure, didn't no. live there. But yeah, I was like, by the time I was done, I was like, I remember off. I'm like, when I was little, the subdivision to drop kids off in to go trick or treating was Alexander Heights here in Festus. Yeah, it was probably the biggest subdivision with the nicest homes in it in the city limits of Festus. <laughs> That's where everybody went and dropped their kids off. Really? Yeah. Well, whenever I was a kid, and I think I was, and Greg asked the question, "How old were you when you stopped trick or treating?" I asked uh, that question. Yeah, it was, oh, sorry, sorry. That's a good question, Josh. I know. I think I might have been about. 14 or 15. <laughs> yeah, I went till I was like 16 age. or something. <laughs> really? Oh, okay. I did. Wow. Wow. I went I, because... Go buy your own damn candy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess I wasn't 16. I would have been working, but I, I bet 14 or 15, yeah. I, I did it till I was older just because... In high school? Uh, I don't think... I think I was... It may in, have been a freshman. I may uh, have been a freshman. I was either I freshman or sophomore. I remember I had two younger friends that were both two years younger than me, and one of their moms took us and dropped us off. So I was I was under sixteen, but I was probably fifteen, and they dropped us off at Parkton. Oh, oh I remember. Geez. Yeah, and we had, and that's a huge. Subject. The whole yeah, rumor was, oh, they have the full size candy right. bars. Right. Yeah, and know. some of them did, and I remember uh, taking a pillowcase because that's what you did. Yeah, you took that's, a yeah, that's did the way year. to do it. And uh, man, it was, uh, it was just ridiculous. And walking through, and I remember going to houses, and they would uh, open the door, and they would have like video cameras. They were like filming. Really? Like, yeah, yeah it was weird. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. And they'd, wow. They'd invite you into your house. Yeah. It wasn't strange even to walk into right. a stranger's house. No. They had a bunch of people yeah, around. Yeah, it was like a party the, in their living yeah. room. Going, hey, what are you doing? And yep. uh, I found out that it's kind of a St. Louis thing. The joke. The joke. Yeah. Things. Really. Yeah. I didn't know it was just around I, here. I don't remember doing that when I was little. Oh, I did it. Really? Yeah. yeah no. It's called trick or treat. Yeah. Trick. Well, trick. Well, well, I trick was, would be a trick, no, not a joke. I, yeah. I always associated yeah, it with that's, a joke. Yeah, I didn't, jokes. I didn't hear about that. I didn't until know. I was probably in high school. Really? really? Yeah. Man. Yeah. yeah, but that is definitely a St. Louis thing. Like, really? where'd you go to high school? Yeah. How'd really? you learn that? I just when I was trick or treating. No, oh, I mean, how'd you learn it recently? That's only oh, like that a yesterday. Thing. Oh, like, really? You yeah. didn't know it was a St. Louis no, thing? No, I didn't know that? it was a St. Louis thing. So all of our listeners, that's a St. Louis thing. I don't but think I knew that. yesterday. Halloween. This is Halloween. Oh, okay. When you trick or treat in St. Louis, you have to have a joke ready. Man, and the kids this year had some really good jokes too. The best one. I heard two really good ones. Why? Why didn't the toilet paper cross the road? I heard this one because it was stuck, it's stuck in a crack. In the, crack. <laughs> <laughs> the other one. <laughs> The other one I heard was, how do you know uh, if a chromosome is oh, boy God. or a girl? You pull down its genes. Uh, <laughs> Which was slightly inappropriate for yeah. like a 12-year-old to be telling me that. But I, that's funny. I heard the one if uh, Trump and Hillary got in a car accident, oh, geez. who would survive? The country. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> America. America. No political talk. I <laughs> I heard one, and it wasn't through trick or treating. It was something I heard on the radio, and it was uh, so a Roman walks into a bar and sticks up two fingers and says, "I'll take five drinks." Yeah, okay. oh, <laughs> but right. that's a math joke. Yeah. Okay, that ends joke hour. So there you go. No, well, I I did I I I trick or treat as long as I could. It was, it was one of my favorite. Well, I, that does not surprise me. 
I did too, but I don't. I think it was just because of the, the kids I hung out with. Sixth or seventh grade. For really? Me, yeah. Now my kids, my my my, my oldest two, they haven't in, in years, and my and my middle son, he's. Or I guess my older three haven't. My middle son is thirteen, and he hasn't in a couple of years. He, really? He gave, he's like, I want to hand out candy, but this year he did kind of walk around, um, but he didn't dress up. And Being he a hoodlum. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Oh, one of those. He had like yeah. three friends over. And he Give me candy. Yeah. yeah. But he, I don't know that he really went door to door, but we did see some kids his age come up to our house, and I mean, these are thirteen-year-old. Uh, and he can eighth sit graders. still this yeah, week. I know. Um, you've been away from the microphone more than you've been at it, I think. <laughs> no, so when you were kids, were you guys the neighborhood hoodlums and go TPing and? I think I did that once or twice. Oh man, we did it all the freaking time. We we weren't soaping windows. Yeah, he knows. <laughs> no, we did not soap windows. We did not fork fork yards. We TPed, and we normally we TPed friends of ours. I mean, yeah. everybody know who who. If you woke up and your house was TPed, you knew who did. Yeah. and you knew good and well you were going to pay him back the next week. Right. That was always a fun thing to do, and and uh, and then like if it got wet or and rained. I think loyal listener Mike was involved in more than one of those occasions, and he can probably chime in on that. He's not chiming in. He's he will. In. So, um, let's see. What else do we have? Oh, well, World Series tonight's Game Seven. Man, no kidding. I knew the Cubs were going to win last night. Have you guys been watching it? It's a conspiracy. The MLB wants more advertising money. Well, yeah, that's usually it. it has goes to seven. go to game yeah. seven. Yeah, that's that's a range. <clears throat> Who do you think's gonna win? I think the Indians will win tonight. Oh, Man. go tribe, go I, tribe. Yeah, I I'm tried. not a fan because I'm not a bandwagon fan like Josh, but I think the Indians will <laughs> bandwagon? win. Bandwagon? They haven't won since what? 1954? No, he's no, I'm he's a, fan a bandwagon. Of who I was playing be, against the Cubs? Yeah, exactly. I have a feeling the Cubs are gonna win. Nah, not tonight. Really? No, don't think so. I, Greg. I don't know. I'm I'm rooting for uh, the Indians, but I, I yeah. I'm rooting for because it's not the Cubs. I don't like the Cubs. the Cubs. Yeah. I don't know. I don't just, whatever. The Cubs have just looked really good the last, last two night, nights. The last two nights they looked very good. Yeah. Unlike the Blues, it's the been Blues a lot. Yeah. It's been awful. Yeah. You know, and it was. Uh, I was thinking about this. Um, so if you're a if you're either a fan of either of those teams. And the you're Blues watching the tonight. Cubs? No, no, the oh. Cubs are the Indians. And you're watching that game tonight. Like, like us, we're able to like sit back. Now, I want the Indians to win, obviously, but I mean, it's not gonna, it's not gonna emotionally affect me either way. <laughs> but could you imagine some of these people that are just diehard oh fans in Chicago? And like, Absolutely. what, what it would feel like? I remember two instances. Yeah, but both teams haven't won in forever. You know, no, the right? Cubs quite a bit longer saying. than the Indians, I think. Right. I yeah. remember two instances where I got like so emotionally connected to a game or a situation. One was when the Rams were in the uh, Super, Bowl. Super Bowl the second time. I was pissed. After I that. was so angry, yeah. and I remember the next day, like I still felt yeah. like that because anger. they freaking Man. cheated. Well, yeah, yeah. But that game was like you. I was you were hanging on like every yeah. play, and then it went down to the last uh, field That's goal. That's when the hatred of the Patriots, Patriots started yeah. for me. And then the second instance was whenever the Cardinals were in the World Series in 2011. And that game six, the legendary game six, yeah. I went to bed. I, I was in bed too. Really? Yeah. I was. My, I had text messages from my parents saying, "Wake up, wake up!" And I got my the wife morning. was. My wife stayed awake. Lori stayed awake and watched that whole thing. Yeah, and you like, missed it. Yeah, that was the greatest game Freeze, ever. And I went to bed because I was like so like I was like it was making me sick. Like my I was sick to my stomach because they were losing. What did Mike say? So truth. Yeah, I was going to say, I remember 1985. The Cardinals going into class. It was a Sunday night when uh, 85. That's when the co- Royals you- beat the Cardinals. Dude, you were eight. You were in. College. Yeah, I I was really, <laughs> really. Yeah, wow. That really affected me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that hilarious? I, I'm laughing. I at don't him. know. <laughs> I just choked on my drink. I I find that hilarious. I, no, go no, ahead. I want to hear this. At eight I, years old, that really affected I just me. remember going into school the next day being like, it was just like, yeah, like you, so bl- cause, numb. Yeah. Kinda. Like, and at that age, I didn't know how to, yeah. you know, process it because <laughs> it it's just, wow. you only saw, you know, the last 82. I was kind of young. I really, at that time, I didn't really. Um, oh yeah, we when were they five. won the World Series, six. yeah. 
But yeah, this one I watched all the way through, and I mean, I was wow, huge I don't Cardinal that. fan and all that, all Jack Clark and and uh, wow. Willie McGee and all them. And man, I just remember going into school on Monday, and it, there was a lot of kids that were kind of like, yeah. you know, just like, oh man. And then some kid goes, well, at least Missouri won, and I told. Him. I was like, Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're it, stupid. It, you're a stupid yeah. head. <laughs> yeah, I probably. Well, I mean, I'm just thinking, you know, whatever team loses, I mean, God, could you imagine the feeling, like knowing, that, especially if you're like the Cubs, all this crap, and then they and then they lose, like how depressing would you, how depressed would you be that it's a tomorrow? Game. I know it is, but you know, you get so emotionally attached to it. It's going to be interesting to see what happens tonight. Uh, Last Cleveland win looks like 1948. Yeah. Thank you, Google. Yep. So 1948 I mean, and 1908. Yeah. I mean, it's not as long, but there it's was still a long Thank time. You, Mr. Math? There was this guy um, at, the, at the Cleveland's game yesterday. He was the last surviving player from the 1948 World Series. He was He's 95 still playing? years old. <laughs> <laughs> he's 95 years old, yes, and he right. looked great. But he was—could you imagine being the last surviving you member? Man, man crush on him? Might say yeah. he looks great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, That's for fine. 95 years old, he looked, you know, healthy. And so everything. I read this afternoon that two businesses have sponsored to get Charlie Sheen at the game tonight. Oh yeah. Did you guys hear that? No. no. Yeah. I don't know if he. I don't know God, if he's going to throw out the first pitch or what, but. Two two companies have said we will fly you out here and give you a ticket to the game. Oh wow! So it, it'll be interesting to see what that turns out to be. I heard a bunch of you know talk early on about how they should try to figure out a way to like bring incorporate him in him and him and Bob Euchre. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, wild they, thing. Man. They wanted to fire. Uh, they wanted Bob Euchre instead of uh, dumbass Jack Buck or okay. Joe Buck. <laughs> Come on now. There's nothing wrong with Joe Buck. Joe Buck's an ass. You're, <laughs> You're just feed. You're just jumping on the bandwagon. No, of he's hate. an ass. It's documented. Oh wow! It's not anybody it's, more concerned with hilarious. hair plugs than his company than <laughs> his than his. Uh, no, that business. okay. That he even weird. admitted that that was kind of. But yeah. I, I like Joe. Like, yeah. I'm from St. Louis, and I like Joe Buck. I do too. Oh, well, there you go. You're idiots. Now I must say, <laughs> the, there's w- was it. What's the, your reasoning for hate? He's a prick because he's <laughs> trying to be neutral no, when he no, does national no, games. No, he's he's a prick. Um, I will say, the <laughs> ridiculous was it the Super Bowl commercial or a Fox commercial that he did where he was in New York filming a spot for hey, a game? You. Yeah, yeah, that that yeah. was hilarious. Yeah, he can make fun of himself. Well, yeah, if he's paid enough money to. Look, I love his dad. I mean, his dad was, was great. No, I, I you know, no, Jack, I won't argue with that. Jack Buck is wonderful, but. I have no but problem with nah. Joe Buck. No, he's uh, no. <sighs> I don't know. So, I, I don't get it. He's a hilarious Twitter follow. Yeah, yeah, he's good. Man. So I, we got a whole bunch of stuff on the agenda we haven't even gotten to so yet. So do we have snacks? I do. We have or, a snack. Uh, do we want to do a snack now? We want to. Let's do a snack. Some, okay, let's do the. Here, here we go. Jesus, it's cashews, almonds, macadamia nuts. All right. Yeah. We started 15 minutes later. Yeah, I know. So it's we're about halfway through. About the halfway show. through. Yeah. So um, I picked these up at the WalMarts. Hey, that's where I got my credit card stolen. Or no, something. you don't know that's where it happened. Well, that's, that's where they tried using it. Use it. Oh, you got two bags. I of got something. two bags. I went up and down. This is something that Greg and I used to do year, well, a while ago, where we would just walk up and down the snack aisle. When and you look. weren't almost 40. Yeah. And we would look for anything that said the word new on it. And I, this drew my attention for two reasons. Number one, it said new. And number two, they had the. Had a coupon right there. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you bought two bags, it was a dollar off. Oh, so, these are saver. Yeah, so that's why we have two bags. Yep. These are called. Uh, these are a uh, Buck Wild uh, chips, tortilla chips, and we've got garlic, sea salt, and roasted tomato herb. And go ahead, dive in. I was gonna 
see here. Uh, wild flavors, quality ingredients, anything but expected. Yellow corn with wild rice and flaxseed. Uh, uh, flaxseed's good for food. It. Yeah. This is uh, the garlic sea salt's not bad. Uh, let's see. So there's like one other flavor there that I did not get. I don't remember what it was called. It was something. It was like just traditional or something. Yeah, they're not bad. No, I don't. I probably won't like the tomato ones. Yeah, garlic sea salt. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Yeah, they're good. It's a little buck wild. It's got like a a deer on the front with uh, some aviator sunglasses on because that makes them buck wild. So like are you guys, so we're under a week away for the election. Are you guys going to watch election coverage next Tuesday night? <laughs> I'm serious. I don't know. I'm a junkie. I've seen uh, in my work they have the uh, monitors on. And it's like CNN, and it's like got a countdown. Six, oh, six oh, days. Really? Yeah. And that's funny. No, I like I'm, these tomato herb. Seriously, I'm a junkie. I will turn it on Tuesday, probably about six o'clock, and watch till midnight or later. Really? Yeah. And and, and that's past your bedtime. I don't know. In those, oh, in that Tuesday? coverage, they usually have like what what the results are, like state yeah. by state as yeah. you're coming in and all that. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm interested in local results as well as national, but yeah, I'll I'll watch it all night long. Yeah, I probably will too. On the edge of my seat, and then no matter who wins, watch the riots start shortly yeah. after. Yeah. Yeah, these tomato basil are great. I like the garlic better. I'm not a I'm not a sun dried tomato fan. Oh, they have a popcorn, too, it says. I, maybe I've had the popcorn before. Chipotle cheddar, caramel bourbon, smoked butter, or roasted garlic. No, Why no, didn't you eat the popcorn, Josh? Yeah, I didn't see it. Me. Well, those are delicious. Thank you. Uh, I guess I got to get a beer to go with that, huh? So I have a, some beers in the freezer. You're going to get up again? I do. You don't have to, like, tell everyone how... I'm getting up and stuff. They can see it on the live stream. On the live stream, but if they're just listening to the podcast, I don't know. So what's your Alton Brown talk there? So Alton Brown uh, is getting his own internet Alton? show. Yeah, It's Alton. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's not coming back to network TV. He's going to his own. So is he still, he's still doing chop though. Or I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, yeah. Kitchen. Cutthroat not, kitchen. Yeah, cutthroat kitchen. I wouldn't be surprised, but he's bringing his, uh, like, Good Eats type show back. Now, that that is a great show. I agree. I, I like that, that was show. That was because he brought the science into um, making, like, he had, like, a topic for each episode, and he had, he really got into the science of, like, oh, this is how yeast does this, and this is how the gluten does this, and... You know, he really got... Yeah, the food science behind it. Yeah, and that's what I really liked about Good Eats. And he made some good stuff. Good Eats, you know. He was pretty nerdy about it, but it was a good show. Yeah, that's why nerds love him, you know. Have you ever been to one of his traveling shows? Man, I've been wanting to go. He comes every year. I should go one year. The tickets are expensive, though, aren't they? Are they? I don't know. He does a lot of music and... uh, he t- he d- he like cooks with weird stuff, huh? So uh, I got some beer. You want to try some beer? Let's try some beer. Uh, is it? This may be a little harder than water. You okay? <laughs> That's fine. What's this? Uh, CenturyLink buying level three. Oh, CenturyLink is a telecom provider. Um, level three is also a telecom provider. Level three owns a good chunk of the internet backbone. Like, if you do a trace route on your pack, like if you ping Google and you say trace route, level, it'll hop through a good number of level oh, okay. three backbones before it gets huh. to Google or the end destination. Mm-hmm. And CenturyLink is buying level three, which will be very interesting to see how this turns out because I know several people that have had CenturyLink service before, like either dial tone service for phones or uh, internet service from CenturyLink, and it's been a miserable, miserable, miserable experience. Hmm. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see how. Uh, them taking over a chunk of the internet backbone is going to going to work wow. out. Yeah, for sure. So could you repeat that? Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. Yeah. Welcome back to the Welcome show. Back. Um, I forgot. I saw this on my shelf, and uh, 
We we don't have to drink it today. We can, but there's a stone enjoy after ten thirty one sixteen. So now we can enjoy that. A but Brett IPA that'll be interesting. Yeah. So we'll have to try that at a at a later show. But next week. Yeah. Now it's uh, past the date. There was also a, um, I saw a bunch of posts on it the other day on like Instagram or something. It was an enjoy by ten thirty one sixteen. Oh, also. I did see that. It was, but uh, pale ale or something. I've got so much beer in this house that what? Yeah, I know. That's why we come over. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys. Except know, for this guy, he's drinking water. No, yeah, I'm getting tired. You guys water. bring some beers over yourself sometime. Bud Light, okay. Yeah. You just said you've got too much beer in this Josh house. Josh can't taste it, so, God so knows what he would bring. Yeah, that's right. Um, this week I have we got like you know how I got a bunch of beer from Alabama uh, and Florida. Uh, this one's from Blue Pants Brewery in uh, Mad- <clears throat> Madison, Alabama. And this one is called Candy Bar Pinstripe Stout. Interesting. Candy Bar. We've had a lot of Blue Pants beers, haven't we? Man, I was at Main and Mill yesterday and had their uh, morning session Whoa. stout that's Whoa. flavored with uh, okay. caramel. It oh, yeah? Pretty damn good. Morning session stout with it, caramel. Is it, it, does it have a, a coffee? Flavor? It tastes a lot like coffee. Really? Yeah. Caramel. But it's a variant, the caramel variant. They also had a maple variant and vanilla variant. They were out of the vanilla already. And then a plain really? morning session. Yeah. Damn, I didn't know that. That sounds great. They tapped the variants over the weekend, I think. So, I have a couple oh bottles of these. This smells, yeah, it smells like really candy sweet. bar. Yeah. Hmm. It smells like a liqueur. Holy cow. That is good. <laughs> it's like, nah. To me, it tastes oh, like a medicine almost, up. like a cough syrup or something. No. It does not taste I don't like know about syrup. that. Dead air. Yeah. I don't know. You're, you're, you're saying. Kind of. Kind of. I don't know. Maybe it's the chips. I taste chocolate. I mean, I, I taste keep a lot. I taste right. chocolate. And it's good. I think it's good. And it tastes oh, yeah. like a candy bar. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's very No, good. it does taste good. It just has the kind of a... Here we go. Uh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not entitled to my opinion. Nope. Why isn't he entitled to his opinion? Because it's wrong. <laughs> so, uh, instead of bad. having dead air here... I like We it. actually... Um, we very fizzy in in some form yeah. the one of these guys and me do uh beer 30 uh like reviewing beers that's kind of how we brought it onto here yeah and we do like five minute segments <laughs> five minutes t- turns into 10 uh one of them we had was something from blue pants yeah. and it was a stout i think it was with you right it Yours, you drink yours, you're like, man, this is good. Yeah. I really like this. And I'm like, uh, I don't know. I, yeah. It went I, on for back and forth for and five you, minutes. Then you tried mine and you're like, oh, what's yeah. wrong with yours? I, yeah. I, and uh, the Blue Pants uh, Brewery, they actually, res- we wrote them and said, hey, we two, got a bad bottle. Yeah, we said, had two bottles of it. They said, oh, that happens. It, we had some bad... Uh, it didn't seal well, so it got like kind of a what a vinegar taste yeah, or whatever. Yeah. It was bad. And they said, "Oh, come down anytime you're down. Come on, we'll we'll get you a free yeah, beer." We'll I mean, we live in Missouri, and that's Alabama. Yeah, they wouldn't ship us anything. Yeah. Well, I don't think they distribute to Missouri, do they? No, no. But they wouldn't. Yeah, the, because of legal reasons, they wouldn't right. ship us anything. But they said, "Next time you're down, come on by and." We'll hook you up and, um, yeah. I mean, that was nice of them, but, you yeah. know. I don't mean to be mean, <laughs> but I'm almost 100% certain that you told that story in, like, episode two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost, I don't know if it was episode two, but I'm almost 100% Shut certain. Shut up, you and your water. <laughs> <laughs> Sobriety. I, I've got one of those memories, just... I'm almost I've certain. heard this story before, but I don't I've know. heard the story before, it on, but I'm almost certain yeah. it was on this podcast. Oh. I don't know. So, 
No, I shouldn't talk. I put on here. <laughs> I put on here work crap, and I have a, a rant. Can't put my work on here. I don't know if I should. No, it's it's not your work. It, it, this is a fictional story. You've already it, opened it up. You a have fictional to, story. You yeah, have this to. is a fictional story. Yeah, your friend. You have a friend. I have a friend who uh, <laughs> works just for a company. <laughs> <laughs> And hey, they were at the Apple Butter Festival too. Oh, were they? Yeah, really? yeah. Oh, your friend's company. Yeah, and it was a Saturday, and they got called in about a uh, new office opening on a Saturday. They well, the office is opening on Monday, but you but your know, friend got called on Saturday. Yeah, and they said, "Hey, there's a printer jam." What? And Yes. That this is what they told me. They said your friend told you, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my friend, they told me. Yeah. They had a printer jam and he goes he he told them he goes, "This isn't an emergency. Why are you calling me on a Saturday?" They said, "Well, our office opens on Monday, you know. We so he he got them to... Did your, friend, did your friend tell him that he had been drinking? <laughs> no. Her, <laughs> that was my go-to whenever I didn't want to do something on uh, call. Well, anyway, they called my friend back <laughs> they, about five hours later. Did they apologize? No. Uh, they said, uh, you still haven't gotten to this printer jam, and we they need someone in to take care of that. And my friend's like, uh, this is not important. I'll take care <laughs> ah, of it tomorrow. Meaning Sunday. Right. So Sunday, my friend went in there. Well, they, they, well, he told me the story that the people said, oh, this paper, it says there's a paper jam, but there's no paper jam. Why does it say paper jam and there's no paper jam? So my friend goes in there Sunday. Uh, There's no paper jam. He, he said, "Well, there, it says paper jam on the screen. It says open tray one, lift down lever. Oh my god! Pull out oh. paper. It literally oh said that. Yeah. The new ones will say that. And my friend, uh oh, he opened tray one, lift down the lever, pulled out the paper. Followed the instructions is what you're yes, saying. Yes, he followed the instructions. So." I just don't you, understand. Like, I felt for my friend here because <laughs> I bet we, you got we've a, all been there. Every IT ridiculous. person has been there. Yeah. I bet you got a good chunk of money for that. I mean, your friend got yeah. a good little extra bonus for that. Well, it's not always about the money. It's about oh, the service. Service and that um, these are things that people should be able to take care of themselves. That's really what it comes down to. So the question I have, is your friend still employed? Uh, as far as I know, he is. Maybe not after this story airs. Well, I don't know. We didn't mention his name. So oh, okay. Well, that's right. true. That's or his company. Yeah. I'm sure it's a... Because you have a lot of friends that work in the beer industry. It's probably a beer company. Yeah. Oh, do any of you want more of this? I'll take a little bit more. Yeah. So who went to boo at the zoo? Uh, that was me also. <laughs> <laughs> Josh knows more about your itinerary. Cause you, full disclosure, before the show, you're sitting here going, I have no recollection of what I did this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> well, I typed a few things in once I, I... The easiest way to find out what I did this weekend... Facebook. Check out Molly's Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's my fiancé for all those that have Ooh, been new listeners. Updates? Oh, yeah. Uh, we did get... Um, well, we haven't... Well, I told you we got engagement pictures uh, about yeah, a couple weeks, weeks ago. We weren't yeah. invited to this. No, there were supposed to be headshots of yeah. the I know. Show. I, yeah. I don't know why. Uh, I don't mix up in we'll schedule or something. We'll have to talk to Molly about this. <laughs> yeah. But I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, she told me they're ready. And, well, she, uh, she posted a few pictures or whatever. Oh, that's not one. <laughs> are we going to show one. the yeah. pictures? Uh no no, yeah. no I gotta find idea. them first. That's Hold a on. good picture though. That is a really good picture. 
I get the one Molly posted. Okay, I gotta pull it up here. So if you're watching the live stream or the YouTube, uh, you'll be able to see this maybe. Oh, that's good. That's there's cute. one of us on the some mums in front of some mums. Uh, Aww. Then we got a little save the oh, date. Oh, save that's the cute. date. You know, I'm busy that day. <laughs> you gotta cut grass <laughs> over Spring the readiness. bridge. Aww. Aww. I said well, yes. Well, change the clothes. Wait, who, we, who is I in that? Is Mo- I guess Molly's <laughs> I in that? She's the she... one holding it. Molly <laughs> holding I said yes. Okay. And I think that's all she has. That's a good one. I like yeah. that one. That too. is a good one. I like. Candace. It looks like Greg said something funny. Yeah. <laughs> I said. I said. I told a bad joke. Hey Molly, I just farted. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I knew, it I knew was that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> and then she laughed. I like candid uh, shots like that over setup shots. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, those are good. So, anyway, what was I getting at? Hell, you I, weren't. Who knows? You were. Oh, you said boo at the zoo. Yeah, <laughs> right. Then you got into Facebook looking to see what you did. So over we got the a few pictures back. I guess the company posted on their website or on their Facebook site. So she has a few of the pictures. We still have to go in and get the pictures or whatever. Pick which ones you want for the paper. Yeah. And, yeah. We went to Boo at the Zoo with uh, Molly's uh, nephews and, uh, you know, her. I've never done that. How is that? I haven't either. So, St. Louis know. Zoo is one of our, um, what? It's, we're it's known one of our for sponsors. That. Yeah. <laughs> we're <laughs> known for sponsors. St. Louis, Missouri is well, known for the, the zoo. only major zoos in the country that is free. Free, yeah. It's a great Zoo. Oh, it's an awesome zoo. Yeah. Yeah. It al- always ranks one of the top yeah. two or three in the San country. San Diego, I always hear, is number in one usually. Like Cleveland or Cincinnati? Oh, wherever somewhere Jack, in Ohio, yeah. I, Jack I think, Hanna. I think wherever, San Diego yeah. costs as much as like s- to go to Six Flags. Wow. Though. Wow. Yeah. Man, yeah, that's like number one zoo, though. But it's free here, and they're always adding new stuff. Mm-hmm. And during Halloween, it opened like at uh, 530 so I guess it has its regular hours, and 5.30 it opens for the boo at the zoo. Kids can dress up. And um, you know what? They don't give out candy or anything. They just dress up. You know, it's something they, they can do. Walk around. Walk around. But they have lights everywhere, little... Huh. They haven't trained the elephants on how to hand candy to the kids. Yeah, no. They have, uh, you know, like little displays of skeletons and pumpkins huh. and stuff. Huh. It, it It's pretty neat. You know, kids got a kick out of it and um they do close certain sections though like um we weren't able to go to um like the bird house i remember them having the birds of prey like like that was like a big thing at one of the boo at the zoos Hmm. uh but i guess they're not doing that this year they closed that off and then they had like you couldn't go to see where the hippos are and stuff you know, one thing about the zoo being free, you know, people hear free and they probably figure, oh, they got, you know, then they end up getting you on seeing some of the exhibits. One of the neatest exhibits there is that they're redone, what is it, the, not the otters, but the sea, li- sea lions? Sea lions, yeah. 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 And that's sea completely lions. free. And they're yeah. out there swimming around, you know, messing around the entire time. That I, that zoo, yeah, that's a very... I, uh, and they I, have shows. I hadn't yeah. been there in probably a couple of years. Funny thing is, I've been with molly uh, about a year and a half almost two years and we've never been to the oh, really? zoo really yeah huh. and uh we the polar bear exhibit they have now is pretty I cool i haven't yet. seen that since it's been yeah. redone i mean yeah. he was sleeping now but it really? he's it's kind of like where the hippos are you could see him swimming and stuff they kind of have the glass you go right up to it is it just one <laughs> it's just one they said they're gonna get another one and like yeah. a female yeah, the f- the last one died, right? Was did he die because of the conditions or what was the situation? He did there? die, but I don't remember if yeah. they ever said why. There were like or two what? or three big big animals that died really right. close to yeah. each other up there. Yeah, and from what I was told, uh, that that original polar bear exhibit, the uh, rock, that's from mm-hmm. the 1904 World's Fair. Wow, really? Yeah, wow. Huh. So. It, I mean, it goes back. Sure, like, yeah. a yeah. lot of that. Yeah, a lot of that right around that area does. It's crazy. Man, we've actually went on went, for a pretty long time. Yeah, went through everything, didn't we? Wow, are we over? 
No, we're not no. over. No. We're Except under time and minutes. temp. You didn't talk about that. Oh, no, you know, yeah, well, yeah, that's just sad. Sad? I found out, and maybe you guys knew this. When it first came out, I guess in the middle mid '80s. So we had a, so explain what you're talking about first. We had a, a phone number here in town that you could call nine three seven eighty seven hundred, and it would say, "What? Well, thank you for calling time and temperature." Blah, 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 and it would say, "Who sponsored owned it. by?" Yeah, sponsored by. It used to be Ozark Federal Bank, and then the hospital had it until recently. And they would do, you know, like the hospital would say, you know, think about getting your mammogram done here, you know, that kind of stuff. And then it would say, their current time is, and it would say the time, and the current temperature is, and then say the temp, and then it would hang up. Well, we would always call this number when we were little because, of, you know, before the advent of the smartphone and stuff like that, you wanted to know what the temperature was outside. Somebody told me a story today that when it first came out, call waiting had just came out. And kids that were supposed to be off the phone, this is when everybody had a house phone, kids were supposed to be off the phone by 8.30, you know, let's say it was a rule in your house. They would call time and temperature to get, make the phone line busy. A friend would call them, call waiting would go doot doot, they'd pick up and then talk on the phone to, with their friend, and the parents would be none the wiser because the phone didn't ring in wow. the house. I'm like, that's so, brilliant. Yeah, so two, both lines were tied up. Right. Yeah. Wow. We never had call waiting, so I didn't know that trick. Yeah, That's crazy. Either. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they said that was, no matter what that age was you are. how you talked on the phone after you were supposed to be off the phone because yeah. the phone in the house did not ring. Right. Because you were on the first line with time and yeah. temp, and then it rang it call just, waiting. So it just, it just hung on the line the entire... I, mean, I think... Kept... Well, time and temp eventually hung up. I think after it said the temperature, it waited oh. and then hung up. Hmm. Yeah. That, I I had never yeah yeah that's yeah a little life hack for all those you all of those you still Utes. living you you <laughs> living in the eighties <laughs> yeah I want to resurrect it I want to start my own time of temperature and sell advertising because everyone needs to know what time it is and old old people that doesn't that don't have smartphones would call it yeah. yeah I'm surprised there's not some like backlash of the Oh, there is. Jeff Go really? 411 and yeah. uh, What's Up Jeff County or whatever the hell that's called. Wow. So What else see. you got, Greg? Any any uh, shows we've been watching lately? I, I uh, haven't watched much TV. We really need a TV <clears throat> theme or something. Well, we got to watch shows I, on a regular I, basis I first. I finished Stranger Things. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. that was great. Yeah, that was yeah, a great fine, show. Man. Waste of time. Great show. See, I, I think you don't understand. How do you not... I, it's and such a good show. I'm into Westworld. I've watched the first three episodes yeah, of Westworld. I'm still behind on that. They say episode is it, five is, is that available in wild like on HBO. For HBO those of us who don't have HBO, I don't believe so. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can see it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I can find a way. Yeah, you can find Maybe a way. Maybe you'd find a way. Um, <laughs> there was something TV uh, related I was going to tell you. I Walking Dead was good. Oh, I Jesus, sl- I was able to sleep waste that of night. time. I was able to sleep that night. Really? I yeah. thought it was very boring. I thought that uh, I Ezekiel hate... the King, he was, uh, I don't know. He was just like uh, the comic, which really? I like. That was cool. But I hate Morgan uh, episodes that are all about Morgan. Morgan Freeman? Yeah. I think he's a boring character. You liked him like five years ago. Yeah, because he was still killing people. <laughs> now he's got some conscience yeah, or well, something. I thought that was just, I don't know, from, it was, it was a, an extreme contrast from the last episode where you're seeing people get Definitely. their skulls bashed in. Did I, did we talk last week that uh, DirecTV is going to start their own streaming online service and they want it to be cheaper than competitors? 35 bucks. 35 what? bucks, yeah. Streaming. Like Sling and, and yeah, PlayStation that's View. that's $20. Well, AT&T owns them, so it's right. AT&T. But Sling's $20. Yeah, but they say they're going to offer over 100 channels. Really? It's mm. going to be similar to what PlayStation View offers, I believe. Yeah, it'll be interesting. They said, did they say by the end of the year? I don't know how they get it that quick. But, I mean, okay, I, Sling offers a lot of channels. Yeah. You can ch- you can adjust your pack. Has it gotten any better on the Chromecast? You don't use it. I don't use Chromecast. Chromecast. I use it on Roku or my uh, Channel Master. And I'll agree that that was my complaint about it. It was uh, hitchy. Just <clears throat> it was unusable. On PlayStation View is much better. I don't have any problem with Roku or Channel Master. Yeah, but for for twenty dollars though, you get a lot of good channels though, yeah. and you can adjust your package. The only thing local, you don't have locals, right? 
No, but I get that over the air. True. So I don't know. I mean, I, I, 100 channels is just going to be all that garbage you don't want to. Yeah. Shopping channels. Yeah, shopping channels. Yeah, there's a lot of, I think, you know, the thing about cord cutting is it's going to all of a sudden turn around where you're just paying you're, someone else. Exactly. The, exact the same, same amount of money. Thing, right. Same amount of money what you were before. Yeah. Just don't get sucked in. Yeah. You, got, you just contracts. Don't yeah. sign a contract. I've considered just getting away from sling altogether because I got a friend who has a really good service through um, a Plex. Was it Greg's friend that? Greg's friend. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that, yeah, that works yeah. at the uh, yeah. <coughs> uh, that works at that place. Yeah, at that company. Yeah, and then um, Actually, YouTube. He's, he's doing and, some shady things though. I yeah, think. that guy. <laughs> that so guy. I think yeah, not Greg. That guy. Uh, <laughs> I think we've about had hey. uh, enough talk for today. Blue Pants Candy Bar Beer is pretty good. Yeah, you change your mind? Like you it. like well, it? Now? I mean, I've always li- I, I liked you it. Always, you've like, always liked it, it for, years, and, it for just, years and years. You've always <laughs> liked it, right? I, I liked it from the first sip. It just I was a, a young boy. <laughs> <laughs> you said it tastes like cough syrup. I, Who in the world likes the taste of cough syrup? I do. Do you really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like Robitussin? Yeah. Interesting. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, cherry NyQuil or regular NyQuil? Cherry. Okay. Yeah. I think it oh, still yeah, tastes gotta awful. Have flavor. Yeah. yeah. I still it, have to hold my nose when I drink oh, that. stuff's good. Really? It's you like, like that? Yeah. Man. Yeah. No, it's huh. not good. Well, further's, I don't know. It is my, good. Uh, it's a little fizzy, but it's good. Yeah, it's like it's overcarbonated. Yeah. I can deal with that. Yeah, I still think your tastes are out of line. They you are. Like, they're out of whack. You yeah. like cough syrup. Yeah. But I knew... Rotten eggs. Oh yeah, then, oh, I, yeah. That was a <laughs> uh, yeah. That was awful. That was funny. Stuff. I didn't taste it, and I that was awful. Yeah. Well, uh, join us here every week. Where can for you find us, Greg? Beta. You can go to beer thirty TV, or you can go on YouTube, uh, YouTube dot com slash beer thirty TV, and uh, view our live, light live. Why is no, it's it not weird? live if they're watching it after the fact? Oh well. Maybe next week you can watch us live. You can watch all our past episodes on YouTube. Five you Central. Yes, you can watch our past episodes. Oh, time change this weekend, too. Oh, as a public yeah. service announcement to all yeah. of our listeners, time so, change. So, technically, we'll be a little earlier next week. Not <laughs> even though we'll be at five still. It'll Sooner, still. yeah. 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 Okay. You won't have to wait as long. And, like, and we'll have a new uh, president-elect by then. Oh, my God. Maybe. If it's not like a Martial crazy, uh, yeah. yeah, like two thousand. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, good point. We had to wait an wait extra year. year. Yeah, <laughs> an extra year. <laughs> yeah, an extra year. <laughs> no, I mean month. Whatever it was, it yeah, was a long how time. Long was that? Yeah, it was a while. Was it a month? It was about it a was, month. Yeah. It was done before January twenty. Yeah, 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 it was yeah. before. Yeah, long crazy. time. Anyway, well, let's uh, close out this show. I hope you've had fun, and we'll see you next time. Oh, oh, oh.